not autumn years, it's uh, Abiding Care in Santa Barbara. It's Thanksgiving Day, 2013, November 28th. And this is Adam Walters with his father, John. And I believe, Adam, you're having some problems with being able to visit your father here today on Thanksgiving. Can you tell me about it, please? Uh, yeah, they, they won't let me take him out. They threaten to call 911. On Thanksgiving, they won't let you take your father no, no. out? Tell us, tell me Just why. Only when we asked. We asked. How many times did you ask? Uh, just just uh, once, twice. They won't let you take your own father out on Thanksgiving? No. Why? No. Um, because I took him to the doctors. What's wrong with that? I don't did know. somebody say no. you couldn't take him to the doctor? Yeah, Harry Hagen. Who's Harry Hagen? He's the, the head of the public guardian. In Santa Barbara County? Yeah. You took him to the doctor? Yeah, and that made them mad. Did you do that without their permission? Uh, no, I told, uh, I, I told Chris Donati I was going to take him. And Chris Donati said that he would, that he would do it, and he never took him. So I made the second appointment for him, not thinking it was going to cause a problem, and apparently it, it caused a big problem, and that's the reason why I can't take my dad anywhere now. I can't even take him off the property. Well, what's the problem with today's visit? You're not taking them off the property. Are they upset over something? Yeah, because we asked. You asked to go at, take them out? To take them out for an ice cream. Are they saying they're going to do anything uh, as a result of your, to punish your behavior? They um, said they were going to threaten, they are threatening to call 911, and they said, uh, I talked to Dave on the phone, and they're building a case against me. A case against you for what? I guess just for, just for everything, just, uh, wanting to take my dad out for an ice cream or because I took him to the doctors to, to get a better doctor that uh, can handle it in more of a naturalistic way rather than giving well, all the drugs. Well, you're in the facility now. You have the right to be, come here. You have the right to visit your father unless there's a court order saying otherwise. Are they trying to restrict your visitation rights, your father? Uh, restricting it by not letting me take him anywhere now. That you have no problem coming here at any time, correct? Uh, well, they, they're they upset. They're telling me I need to make an appointment now. All of a sudden, I've got to make an appointment to see my dad. Well, that's ridiculous. You have the right to visit your father, unless there's a court order saying otherwise. Is there such a court order that you know of? Not that I know. No. Okay, so why are they trying to... Um, that's a very serious um, thing to do. It's to try to uh, restrict lawful visitation rights. Yeah. Well, the whole thing seems uh, crazy to me. It's, it's just not, it's not right that they don't let me take him out for an ice cream or for lunch or so. What, do you think they're giving really ex, don't you think they're giving excellent care of your father? No. Why not? The food. It, what about the food? It's, a lot of it's, I took pictures of some of it out there and it's rotted. Okay. A lot of it, a lot of it, the ombudsman, they threw it all out of the refrigerator because it was out of date. And well, someone was rotten in the refrigerator, too. Well, I can't prove that, but how healthy do you think the food is? Is the health food healthy? They've done a lot of experiments that show that food makes a real genuine difference yeah. in health and recovery. How healthy is the food in general? No. Is it like? The stuff that I've seen, it, it doesn't look very good. I wouldn't call it healthy. Not health food. Okay, so you're here today, and you wanted to take your father out on an outing on Thanksgiving. Did you ask anybody or email anybody and make that request? Yeah, I, I wrote a letter to the public guardian, Arlene Diaz, and Chris Donati, and I, I got no response. When did you send out that letter? And yesterday it was hand-delivered. What time? 2.24. Oh, they could have given you a call or something. The day before Thanksgiving, yeah. And you can't even see, visit be with your own father out on an outing. No. And you're being punished because you took him to the doctor Saunders. Yeah, yes. Why did you take him to the doctor anyway? Because my, well, because he almost died a couple of years ago, and they keep him on all these um, medications that are not doing him any good. Are you speaking of antipsychotic medications such as Seroquel? Yeah. Yeah, the Seroquel. That's what Belma told me it was. It was Seroquel.
Why are they giving them those medications? I don't know what Dr. Saunders said, but at his age, he shouldn't be having any of that stuff. I think the FDA says that older people shouldn't be given that stuff either. It gets, yeah. it gets their most dire black box warning that it nearly doubles the risk of death. So I don't understand why Harry Hagen, who's responsible for your father's welfare, would be giving him those things. And they're not supposed to be the first resort. They're supposed to be the last resort. Yeah. But he's not willing to. We asked Harry Hagen if he would be interviewed, and he respectfully declined to be interviewed. So I'm yeah. sorry about that. Yeah. You think you're... Um, I'm sure they'll all de decline. So is your father on any... You want to take him to a holistic doctor? You thought that would have been better than the kind of doctor that he has right now? Is that the reason? Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah, it, like what we talked about earlier, yeah. What did the doctor say? He said that there was medication that would reverse the effects of Parkinson's. And okay. also there's some medication that would help the macular degeneration out. So there are, there is a doctor out there that sounds uh, promising to help him out rather than one that just wants to throw a bunch of medication inside him. Couldn't hurt to get a second opinion, I would think. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't think it would hurt at all. You would think the public guardian would be for that, but yeah. against it. Well, we know that we, what we do know from the FDA is that these drugs nearly double the risk of death and have severe side effects and make people um, much less um, able to think and function. Uh, make people appear comatose often. These are the side effects of these uh, medications. Very serious side effects, and that's the FDA scientists who say this. So I just don't understand. Harry Hagen's always been very nice to me. He, they let my mom out of conservatorship, Patricia C. Rosen. And yet, why are they d drugging and not trying alternative? There are many other alternatives. Uh, my guess is um, they're just trying to drain his uh, bank account. That's the only, my only guess as to why they're, they're being so difficult. Why, do they have a reason why they, he needs Seroquel that they state? Isn't no, that no, just that uh, Harry just said that he goes by what the doctor says. The doctor knows best. Yeah, yeah, not uh, that doctor, I don't believe. Some doctors, doctors vary. Um, well, oftentimes they say that older people are aggressive and combative and they give them these various antipsychotic drugs that are not d meant to ever be given to older people, but uh, it just always seems to me there are other alternatives that should be tried first, including diet, which can be very powerful, natural remedies, and not to mention a little bit of loving therapy. So, John Walters, Adam's father. Adam is trying to become his conservator and take care of him and get him out of this facility. John, are you happy here? Yeah. Are you real happy here? Are you an attorney or something like that? Adam's father, John Walters, who Adam is trying to get, become conservator of so he can take care of him and get, get him out of this facility. John, tell me, are you happy here? Not really. Why not? The food. Well, they don't take you to do anything. Are you bored here? Yeah, that's part of it. Part of it. A lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of thievery going on. What say that? What thievery? Who? Who's who's being stolen from? In general, it's just a dog. Huh? In general, this place is just a dog. Just a, and you're locked in the, you're in this little room all the time, pretty much, or you can go all over the facility? Well, yeah. It's, uh, you, you don't really like it here. Why well, not? I can tell you that, but it's, 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 I know there'll be better places. Well, well, don't they treat you really well here? Hey, Dad. <coughs> all right. We're just wanting to know if you're, are you happy here? Are you happy? No. Okay. And, and they keep, they keep you in this room most of the time. Do me. they keep you in this room most of the time? I'm sorry, um, I just can't hear you. I'm just saying, do, do they keep you in this room most of the time? Do you what? Do they keep you in this room most of the time? Most of the most of the lockdown. Like, not locked in, but yeah. you're not totally free. And yeah, most of the time when I come here, you're in the bed. 
Oh, they got They don't. They don't like to let you. They don't take you anywhere. They from time to time we go to my show. Where do you go? Hmm? Where do you go? Where do you go to? You go and have, you go and have ice cream. Oh, me and you do, right? Yeah, you're over there. I'm um, up, yeah. yeah. But they, do they do it? No, it's a, it's somebody, a fan, a fan of myself, take me out for ice cream. Yeah, I take, yeah. I take, yeah, okay. He's really good about that. Keeps me out of mischief. Yeah, so... Let me ask you a you question. Know, what about the doc, the doctor that I took you to, Dad? What's the left? You can. It's okay to look at me. The doctor that I that I took you to. Did you like him? You liked him, right? What? Or did you not? The the doctor that I took you to. The bathroom. No, the doc. The doctor. Well, let me ask you a question. John, are you happy here? I can't keep. It. No. Are you happy here? No, I'm not. Why not? Why not? Please tell me why you're not. What? I said, what, how, why are you not? Why are you not happy here? Well, the food is the same old thing every night. I mean, the general attitude is like slave and master. Who? The, the Say that again. Who's slave and master? The, there's a couple of... Uh, uh, what do you call them? The owners? Uh, waitress. Waitress. Uh, he doesn't like Belma too much. Okay. Today's probably not a well, Let me ask day. you a question, John. Would you rather live with your son Adam in a house? What was the question? Would you rather live with Adam in a house? Would I live with Adam in a would house? You, would you rather live with Adam in a house than live here? Well, I've never done it, but I think so. You would rather, you think you would rather live with Adam, your son, than live here? Yeah. Is that yeah. correct? 